welcome back to zbh 4 k and this is Total War Warhammer 3 Thrones of the Card! Alright, so I played a little bit of a Grom campaign, well I started a Grom campaign the other day and then I realized, oh yeah, we're gonna have an update. So it's probably better if I hold on Empire's for blessings, yes. So we got some new stuff in the Empire, new stuff in the Dwarves, and new stuff in the Nurgles. Let's start with Nurgles. A world drowned in rot is no mere dream. My work is of vital importance to the Earth. Okay, let's start with this guy. Uh, then we're gonna look. We're just gonna do. We're gonna set it on hard, hard. I don't like to set it too hard. Not because I'm afraid or anything. It's just that it's simpler to do it. A world drowned in rot is no fear. Set on for non non units. Favorite sun. Boom, cover time. It's just I prefer to have it difficult, but not too difficult, not too punishing. Uh, plus, we're just here to show it off the various early game of the game of the. Uh, What's this guy's name? Tamakura's War Host. So let's see if this one gets me to, well, be into Nurgle gameplay, because I'm somewhat into the Chaos uh, Demons gameplay, but I'm not really into Nurgle's my least favorite. My favorite is probably corn. Uh, right after that is probably Zinch. And then after that is Slanesh. Finally, Nurgle is like the last of the list, like bottom list. I guess you can see all the characters look on the Slanesh, on the Nurgle screen. I'll probably cut off some of the loading bits, just so you guys know. From the farthest reaches of the chaos wastes, he came, spreading decay in the decay. name of Nurgle. Nurgle. Many humans fought fiercely to defend their lands, but all fell. Their lifeless corpses, pierced by his razor-barbed teeth. Powerful fighters made unwilling host to the Maggot Lord. So, Tamakan remains a parasite in the putrefying body of an ogre tyrant, amassing a warhost the likes of which has never been witnessed. What will consume all? Chieftains come from across the globe. The foreign deeds look on my favorably, and each chieftain grants the faggot levels. Which was the unit, you know, never need to each chieftain's 
mal atrás, ¿sí? Es campaign victory. Okay, found. Defeat this guy. Gotcha. Alright. Short campaign, we gotta get front three devoted chieftains, Grimgor, Heralds of the Tempest, and Gold Tooth. Station Militia mm -hmm. We'll get on like a nice little In viewing rocks growth and ruin first. It's a little bit of growth. I had to go through my stuff here. Um, is there anyone we can? Bloodthirsty. I am told you like want to talk. How does? Do I want to do a peace treaty. I want to take them over. Such delicacy. Slanesh. We shall experience excess no mortal could ever dream of. Do I like us? Or is it possible for them to like us? Is what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes you have like a, a negative. Oh, there's no way they didn't like us. Yeah, there's almost no way. Yeah, we gotta fight these guys. And I think they're pretty strong. Oh, the Tempest. They make a tough first time enemy. First round pick, and it's the. Oh, I don't know where we are. I think Grand Cafe is somewhere over here. Yeah, somewhere down here. Yeah, somewhere over here, actually. But I'm not really sure, but it doesn't matter. It don't matter, bro. Okay, so we usually have a hero unit somewhere in the vicinity. We don't have a hero unit. Fascinating. Yeah, we don't. Just, I just looked at the um, Lords and Heroes and we don't have a hero unit. Usually we have a starting hero unit. I usually put it with the army and we do like the whole bed. I'm not sure what to build here. I'm thinking about building something for growth. And corruption. You know what? I said we go heavy uh, heavy growth. Wait, wait, wait. Recruitment costs. You know what? Heavy growth. I was thinking maybe we should do it after the battle, but I think it's better we do all of our bits and bobs before the battle. Crush them. And we save! Because I don't know how bad the battle's going to go. Okay, we're going to cut this part out. Alright, guys. We're back. So, there's no... I guess we're attacking. So, Russian attack. Alright. Right, actually, we'll put you over here. Put you right here. Tamakon, you go right there. Remember, what first removed is as valuable to father as a fresh corpse. Let's just do melee damage resistance, okay. Melee defense and damage resistance. Okay. We're gonna wait for everyone else to get because the main army's gonna collide. I don't know how fast these guys are. Like I said, we're gonna wait to let the main army collide. It 
brings Madeline. Charge. Charge it. Sabaton. Cleave and put Sabaton's. Go for it. For all. all shall die. Kill them all. Rapture your flesh. Plague and filth. Where the fly lord commands. For the mega lord. Ready to defile. Flash in and. There we go, nice clash. Bringer of desolation. Serve the break, father. Wait for them to break. Yeah, I did worse than the game, but. <laughs>
Like, yeah, you'll just get a close victory. As I got a Pyrrhic victory. That's fine. I'm new to Nurgle, so it's it's a learning experience. I'd rather learn here early on than late game. Like, that's, I kind of recommend you don't, like, quick battle uh, your early game battles. Like, auto resolve them. Auto resolves, I, I don't say ruin it, but it sort of ruins your ability to learn uh, early on what the what the faction can do or what that race can do. Like, I didn't know Nurgle basically had little to no rage on offense in the beginning, so, so this is going to change my gameplay. I usually have range offense in the back, taking some all the heat off of the people in the front. But now it's just all out attack, so I'm gonna have to use. We're gonna have to replenish. Uh, how big is there? It's not that big. I think we can take it. Size of victory. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay, we're back. Monstrous Cavalry. Son of Gargoyle. God's bearers. Gargoyle's labors crush and bleed. Okay, let's hurry this up a little bit. Fast forward it. Knock them down. 
decisive one. Huh? A little bit better this time. See what I mean? I'm glad I didn't wait a turn. I'm glad I just went for it. Aggression plays off. It's been a while since I've played one of the Demons of Chaos armies. I didn't know they don't uh, recruit normally. They would just recruit instantly. I've forgotten that. Yeah. I actually have a lot of fun with it. Uh, how would I rate this one? All the way through the loads. I was I cut some of them out, hopefully, in the video editing process. But uh, I'll leave a few of them in, just to give you an idea of how long you're going to wait between uh, fights. Uh, it might be slowed down by me recording and stuff like that. A few other things in the background, but I want you to have a, a basic understanding of how much time this is going to eat up. Okay, there you go. So I have like an hour or so set aside to play it. If you're gonna play it to Is you're gonna play Warhammer Total War. Oof. Hey, what's gonna happen? Right? Mm-hmm. Races, select the chief push forward to allow you to view their equipment. Oh. oh, here it is. Selecting chief recruits these are for dominance because that the print is already available to recruit. We explain information, the background traits, and equipment. Fusion for the rule, but I have mine. Command and devoted with each level unlocking the list of units and chieftain abilities. Okay. Your chieftains prov provide access to many units on an area where you can purchase dominance, allowing to instant recruit them through recruiting a chieftain. Okay, uh, I skipped over one. As chieftains improve, you will uh, unlock powerful chieftain abilities, which can maybe provide extra mental in conquests to come. As your chieftains reach new levels of fealty, your other chieftains will become available to recruit. Chieftains can attain a devoted level of fealty and is rewarded once you have successfully aided them in their final battle. Okay. So we just basically like keep going until we get to the final battle here and then we'll get the final reward plus one chief chariot of blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So we can recruit it. How much dominance did we acquire? How much dominance do we have on the thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, the freedom. Battle. Researching technologies. Rating. So this is where will we get him if we raid or if we defeat a lizard man or warrior? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Increase by purchasing chieftain. You okay? So it basically you have, you have to get more chieftains down and looting settlements, defeating scavenging dwarves in battle. This one plagues. We do not have plague juice. How much is? Okay. Well, we got some. So we can just go. It seems to be uh, what you call it, relevant, or should I say, like specific to each chieftain? So I can't use this guy's fealty to help this guy. It's got to be separate. Good to know. 
Oh, we don't have any plagues to create. That's <laughs> so, about we all can do. strong but as a army leader he will be you know what? I don't even know what I'm gonna make his army into being at this stage so let's just start it Guy scout down here, but I think it's better just having the army. Oh yeah, we got a septic thing here. What is this? Actually, yeah, perfect. I was about to switch it to that if it wasn't there. Um, you can pause, scroll the control. Honestly, I think it's better if we just have growth and control for right now. So, look a few turns in. Like, let's just get to level. Maybe you know what? We'll, we'll focus on the work on this one. We we'll get this to level two, and then maybe actually, yeah, we'll get this to level three. Actually, we'll focus on getting that to level three, and then we'll worry about everything stuff. So. Right now, we don't. We gotta get two hundred. Two hundred is a long way to get to infections. But yeah, I'm having fun so far. I actually like the additions to Nurgle. I think all the Chaos Gods should get like at least a couple of legendary lords to them because the basic ones are good-ish but I feel like some of it could be increased something more interesting for new or returning players. Man. I'm not going to take the Again, it's going to take a while. My heralds, but the worthy have heard my call. Yeah, 
Well, I didn't catch that legend that well. Dumb, dominance four. Increase with how they did. Okay. Rating. I should have recruited more people. Oh well. Plagues are ready. Especially because we're trying to learn how to play it. Try to play it like how to play this unit. These units. They're new to me, and I'm trying to learn. So you guys are going to be part of that. Don't worry. It'll get quicker. I think my... Huh? It says I can get... To 200. I thought I had 200 already. Alright, that guy's dry even a storm. Toads are pretty fast. Onwards, both men. Spreading destruction. 
Deadly for a moment. I was befuddled as to what to do in certain parts of that fight. But as it went on, I was like, yeah, let's we'll do this. What was that? We'll surround them because they got range units. The problem with range units is that they need time to fire. If you're on top of them, hitting them, they can't really fire at you. I'm not giving like pro tips, I'm just giving you like basic observations. I mean, some of them will still shoot you, even while they get hit in the face with you. But usually the goal is with you have like a, a melee-centric army, is to just, just throw everybody in there. Just get a big mosh pit of craziness. Um, they usually, the other side usually struggles because they have to try and protect their, their range units but if you're just smashing them in the mosh pit they can't really do nothing except join the mosh pit Man, everybody did well in that fight there wasn't too many weaknesses the, ner the nerglings are kind of weak but they sort of act like effective just throw them all in there units Mm-hmm. We'll give him a couple of points of thick skin. 
in. Truly blessed am I. I'm gonna give him some thick skin. I think that's Lord. For conquest. Thanks for some reason. Well, looks like we bit off more than we can chew. Should we retreat? So we need to get another 200 on top of what we already have. Attack. Let's see what they will. 
Well, that's why I'm playing. They they try and do an attack on it, and my ambush kicks off. So if the tep is left. I can only assume they're being attacked by Grimgore or something like that. So I do know the tempest was next to Grimgore, and Grimgore is not an easy opponent to go up against. Okay, they foiled that. Plagues unlocked. No man can kill me. It was promised. Mm hmm Plagues panel allows faction Nurgle factions to create plagues on the campaign map in return for infections. Plagues can cause positive effects for Nurgle factions or negative effects for non-Nurgle factions. All faction plagues are made up of three symptoms. On the panel, each provides both types of effects. Mm-hmm. Selecting the symptom begins the creation of a new plague. After selecting the starting symptoms, only adjacent symptoms may add to the plague. Adjacent symptoms will be highlighted in a panel shown, as shown. Symptoms can be also become blessed, boosting their effects. If blessed symptoms is used in a plague, it will consume this blessing, no longer having its boosted effects for the next one. Okay. Since they have been selected, plays have a duration and chance to spread or increase the cause of infection. Mm -hmm. Can also be reduced fires. This is a number of turns of plays now. It's just catching any new plays after the one. The previous one expires after this one affected fire. Before the plague can be created, it must be assigned a target. Where it will release into the campaign map. Only forces and settlements you own can be selected. Let's target revealing using this button. Once a target for your plague is selected, you can choose one of the two creation methods infection or summon cult cultist. Infection. Your forces or settlement with the plague, King which brings a who will carry the plague to infect directly via action. Action actions, okay. Number of plagues into blessed systems. systems. Okay, every three plagues created. System location in the panel will be randomized and new blessed well, symptoms will appear. Almost done, last one. Any symptom previously used in plague. Will become available as a starter symptom to the future player. Okay. Testing this out, let's just look at it.
We hit them again. Actually, I still have a lot of fun to do with the infection bonus. Yes, for the host. Do we infect? I'd say we infect him. You know what? I think I'll leave it there. That's enough uh, messing around with Nurgle. We got the infected. We got this area infected with our disease. Giving us a whole bunch of bonuses. I might try another ambush attempt. But yeah, I think that does it for now. Thank you for so much for watching. I do appreciate it. It helps out a lot with this channel. Every view helps. Just you guys just watching it for like five or ten seconds helps out a great deal. Um, and I really appreciate it. I, thank you so much for getting me to 385. Uh, but that was my last count of my subscribers. It could have gone up while I was doing this recording, but I, I don't know. So, but I, anyway, I do appreciate it. it. It has been such a pleasure to record these for you guys. I hope I can record more for you in the future. And the way you help out with that is if you just watch more of my content or just hit the like button or the subscribe button both will help out a great deal thank you so much